Uh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I was the first sleep watching CXPP. Uh, yeah, that wasn't really a, a good <laughs> uh, Comic Con, was it, guys? Uh, the Brazilian Comic Con was on yesterday uh, for five or six hours. WB had a panel or had a had a slot where they could show off all their movies, anime, and stuff, all that kind of uh, products. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too good, but. Something good did come out of them five hours. If you did sit through them, I didn't sit through them. I watched about five minutes of it. Wasn't even in English. Some of the trailers weren't even in English. So I just gave up and I said, look, if that important comes, I'm sure it'll be on the timeline. And yeah, it did. So look, we're all talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Will it be a success? Will it gain spin-offs? Will it get a part two? Will there be a Justice League arc that Zack Snyder wanted? Will we get all those things that we really, really want? Will we get spin-off, Batfleck, Deathstroke? miniseries, whatever you want to call it, are we going to get it, graphic novels, comics, animated films, shows, series, whatever it is, big possibilities of course, if it's a success, if it breaks the internet, if, it, if it, people want it, and of course they'll make more of it, if they can't do it live action, I'm sure they'll do it in some capacity, because Zack Snyder isn't ready to give up on this world yet, I don't think, I think, even if the Snyder Cut is his last outing as a DC director, I think it will be a fitting one for him because he gets to go back and finally finish what he started back in 2016 or 2013 in some capacity. But Scott Snyder was on a panel. He's a writer, a comic book writer, written some really good stuff. Batman, um, Swamp Thing. Uh, he's, he's actually very popular with Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder, whenever he speaks about him, speaks about him in a very positive way. He's a big fan of Scott Snyder and probably kind of similar to the way that Zack has his characters portrayed. But it's pretty interesting because Scott Snyder said something very interesting yesterday at Brazil Comic Con. Um, this is what he had to say, and it actually gets me pretty excited. Now, some of you might be disappointed and say, well, I wanted more live action. Bear with me. So Scott Snyder stated that he was asked by DC to help with the comic adaptation and expansion of the Justice League Snyder Cut mythology that he is doing on HBO Max. The comic book Snyder, however, said that he did not accept the job because I had a lot of jobs ahead of me and I can't deal with people confusing this anymore. That's translated, of course. It's very hard to get English translation done well at the Comic-Con for the five minutes that I did watch. But this is basically what he said. Let's hope this is what he said. Hopefully it wasn't mistranslated over to English. But yeah, so it was pretty funny at the end where he said he just want to get the two of us confused anymore because they both have the same name, Snyder, which is pretty funny and nice way to look at it. But I'm surprised he unveiled this information to the world that he was asked to go and help with Zack Snyder's expansion of the Justice League Snyder Cut. Pretty cool. Now, if Zack Snyder is a fan of Scott Snyder, he probably wanted him to create some comic books, graphic novels of his characters. And if he's not going to do it, Jim Lee's probably going to do it. I think that leaked image was um, was kind of sketched by Jim Lee of the Nightmare timeline that was leaked a few months ago. So yeah, that's definitely a big possibility. But the expansion, the comic adaptation and expansion of the Justice League standard cut mythology is pretty cool. Now, don't get too, too sad. Does this mean we're going to get no more live action Snyderverse world? That's a possibility. Of course it is. There's no guarantee that we'll get a two or spin-offs or Batfleck or any of that stuff. That's not guaranteed. Zack Snyder's Just League has to come out first. Let's just enjoy that. But I think for certain, we can guarantee ourselves that we'll get more comic books that are set in the Snyder verse, which is pretty cool. And I'm not a big comic book reader, but that's definitely something that I would buy if it was a comic book Nightmare Timeline or Batfleck or something like that. That would be pretty cool. I'm sure they will go to the direction of animated features with Jay Olivia, of course, Zack Snyder, another friend of his. But I would love the live action stuff to continue. And I think it will. I think if you think positively about stuff, if you want things to come your way, think positively about it and it will come your way. Think positively, talk positively and things will happen for years. I was positive about the Snyder Cut. I was positive about Ben Affleck coming back. I was positive about a lot of things in my life and things have come my way. So it's not too hard to try and be positive for something like this. If you want more live action stuff, get on the internet, talk about it in a good way and hopefully it will happen just like the Snyder Cut is happening. But comic books about the Snyder world. What kind of comic books adaptations would I love to see? Personally, my top three, if they were to go that direction, course number one would be Ben Affleck's Batman 20 years in Gotham do a comic book run five or six issues 10 issues whatever it is showing his 20 years in Gotham because the Justice League world that Zack Snyder is building is to show the Justice League the fight against Darkseid the conquering of the world stuff like that so 
show us Ben Affleck's 20 years in Gotham in comic book adaptation or in animation. That'd be pretty cool. Show the dead of Robin. Show his interaction with the other villains. Show how he dealt with his parents dying. Show all these cool elements in a comic book form and draw Ben Affleck Batman. It'd be pretty badass. It would be pretty, pretty cool to see what his character was like before all these gods popped up in the world and all these mini humans. Pretty cool stuff. And then one I actually, I didn't see too many people talking about. Well, I would love to see the history of Atlantis prior to covers of Jason Momoa's character getting... Um, to be the king. I would love to see the history behind all that. I would love to see the history between his uh, his father, his mother, that kind of stuff. Interests me in Aquaman and I, and I would love to see that expanded to a degree in comic book form. I think it would be absolutely brilliant. Show us the world of Atlantis, how it came to be and things like that would actually be amazing. Another one I would love to see is a comic book adaptation of Krypton before the world of Krypton was kind of tarnished before it was kind of ended i'd love to see jor-el uh, general zod their interaction when they worked with each other things like that the history or even a jor or even a general zod comic run would be absolutely brilliant but those would be my top three if i was to pick them but there's so many you could do you could do a nightmare timeline you could do uh, a superman one you could do a cyborg one a flash one an aquaman one a one maybe we get one for every single character you could definitely do that or you could do for the, the side characters. I don't know, but it'd be pretty cool. But this for me is a guarantee that Snyder's world will live on in some capacity. It isn't going to end in 2021. It's going to be alive in some capacity, whether it's live action, animation, or in comic book form. It's pretty cool to be a DC fan, to be a Zack Snyder fan right now. But this excites me as a fan, and I'm sure it excites you as well. But guys, what do you think of the Zack Snyder's world will live on in comic book adaptation? Now, this doesn't mean that uh, Scott Snyder said it's not happening. He was just too busy to do it right now. He had too many things on his plate, too many things coming up to take on that world of Snyder's verse. But it probably means that Zack Snyder went to someone else that he admires. Maybe a Jim Lee, maybe somebody else. That's pretty cool. Definitely not Jeff Johns, maybe. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be doing the, the Snyder verse in comic book uh, form. But I think it's going to happen. And do I think a live action will happen? More live action? I'll think positively about it. I think it will. Will animated stuff happen with Jay Olivia? I'll think positively about it. I want it to happen. Let's say, yeah. So anything is possible, of course, especially in the world we live in right now. But this, from Scott Snyder, was very cool. And in, in the day yesterday where the CXXPP Comic Con Brazil wasn't that good. I was actually going to do a video today breaking down everything that happened. But I thought a lot more content would drop. Nothing really dropped. That was too exciting. So yeah, it was a bit of a bummer. Especially if you're uh, from Brazil and you're a big fan of these characters. And you thought that last year they were going to bring something newer and bigger again this year. But they didn't. Matt Reeves had said last year he'd be there and he wasn't there or anything like that. So yeah, it probably was a bit disappointing. But this was probably the best part to come out for me. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys loved it as well. But guys, get in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about Scott Snyder. Confirming that a comic book run of the Snyder world will happen. He was just too busy. What do you think of that? Are you happy about that? Do you think that bum, uh, lessens the chance of a, of a live action Snyderverse 2, 3 Justice League happening? What's your opinion on that, guys? Um, subscribe, like, comment, let me know. Follow all the social medias. Come connect with me on them. And we'll talk about the one thing we love, which is movies. Guys, I hope you have a pretty good day. I have another video up on the channel as well, talking about uh, what the HBO Max uh, change the the landscape changing means for Zack Snyder's just like just my opinion but guys get in the comments of all those videos and let me know your thoughts I'm interested and I want to hear everyone's opinion none of us are right until we're proven wrong I suppose is that the way the saying goes I don't know we'll find out it's not a big deal it's only a movie I'm not counting on the days or anything I don't even know when it's happening but I won't be there every day counting on the days when I get released or anything like that or on my calendar marking off X's and stuff like that like a little a little girl going to a concert or anything <laughs> no not me